Now we will start installing Oracle Linux on the virtual machine. This is for rack node 1. First thing installer will ask is to test the CD, which we can skip. Once the installer GUI starts, we can go to the next screen. We will select English for the installation language. We'll select US English for the keyboard system. It will ask to confirm to delete all the data on the hard drive. You can continue with saying yes. Now we will choose to remove all partitions and create a default layout. It will show another warning to erase all the data from the hard drive. Now we can see here we have two Ethernet cards, ETH0 and ETH1. We'll configure the ETH0 first. Now this one will be used as the public internet. So we'll provide the public IP for this node. Notice that we also have disabled the v IPv6 support. Now we will configure ETH1 which will be used as a private interconnect. We'll disable the IPv6 and provide a private IP for this node. Now we'll select the host name as rack1 and domain as my domain. We will continue without the gateway and the primary DNS. It will prompt an error or warning for gateway and the primary DNS will ignore. Eastern time zone is good so we will continue. Now we have to choose a good strong password. We will customize this installation. So we'll choose customize now for packages and continue to the next screen. Now we will select all packages for genome desktop environment. Under applications we'll select all editors. We will unselect the games and entertainment. We'll select everything from graphical internet no graphics, no office productivity, no sound and video. We'll select all packages from text based internet. From development area, we'll select development libraries. We need Java development. Now we'll proceed to the servers area. We don't need most of these servers. We'll also remove the printing support and we'll select all packages for server configuration tools. Going to the base system, we'll select all administration tools, entire base, we don't need dial-up networking. 
we'll select Java. We'll select legacy software support and we'll select all packages from system tools and X windows as well. We don't need anything from cluster storage, clustering or additional languages, so we'll proceed. We'll start the installation and this installation usually will take 20 minutes on a good PC. We'll reboot the server after installation and we'll proceed to the post install configuration. We'll reboot. In the previous step, we installed Oracle Linux on a virtual machine and this is for the node 1 of rack. Now we are restarting the server to continue for the post install configuration. After reading the welcome screen, we'll continue to the next screen. On this screen, we will have to read uh, the license agreement and continue. For now, we will disable the firewall and when we continue, it will ask uh, to confirm one more time. We will also disable the secure Linux option and as usual system will confirm if we want to disable the secure Linux. We don't need to enable the K-dump. Also, we don't need to change any of the date-time settings. We will not create the secondary user, so we'll continue. Don't need to test the sound card. And we can click Finish, and system will restart to complete the post-install configuration.